So yesterday we managed to catch a ton of new details in Mario Maker 2. The only problem? The pictures look like this. So we're not only going to give you a better look at these screenshots, thanks to some newly surfaced images from Nero 3333, but we're going to go over all the things we missed in the blur. Starting with the oldest screenshot, which actually appeared in Nintendo's financial PDF a couple of days ago, where it was actually pretty blurry too. Seeing it in this clarity, we can point out a few cool things. For one, look at the toolbar at the top. You'll notice the Super Mushroom, Bell Tree, and Normal Ground are all pinned, meaning we'll have more customization over our selection tools than ever before. And hey, did you notice anything weird going on with the cursor? Yeah, it's got a red outline, whereas every other time we've seen it, it's had nothing of the sort. Now there could be two things going on here. One, it could turn red when you're highlighting an enemy, or two, the more exciting option, it could lend evidence to multiplayer building. As in, what if there were a second hand with a green outline? After all, we've got renders of both Mario and Luigi building together. This red hand could very well signify Mario, while a green hand is just off screen. Anyway, moving on to the Super Mario Bros. screenshot, we caught pretty much everything in the blur. Here's a better look at the forest in this style though. You'll also notice there's two dry bones stacked underwater, which was actually impossible in Mario Maker 1 because they'll become fish bones. So maybe shaking your dry bones will make it into a fish bones now? Alright, onto Mario 3, which was perhaps the blurriest picture of them all yesterday. We can get a much better idea of what's going on this time, but there's still some questions to be asked. Alright, so it seems these claws are moving along a rail. You can see the Cheep Cheep is clearly reacting and swaying to the slope here. But was the Cheep Cheep always there? It's possible the creator put them in the claw within the editor, but it's also possible that the claw picked up the enemies as the level went on. But it also seems that the claws can drop enemies, as the spiny is in direct alignment with the open claw right here. But what exactly triggers this? It's unlikely to be Mario, as he's past the giant Goomba and Cheep Cheep and they're just fine, so maybe we can decide where the claw drops the item within the editor. Can we even recreate Mario Land 2's minigame within this? Let's hope so. Also, notice how the closed claws are frowning, whereas the open ones are just kind of accepting their life. I guess holding Bowser Jr. over there is taking a bit of a toll on that one. Finally, we get another appearance of the Angry Sun. Looks like there's a lot going on in this level. Alright, let's move on to Mario World with a ton of new details. Alright, so this is our first time seeing a Red Yoshi in the Mario World style, despite it originating from this very game. Though of course we saw Red Yoshi in the Mario U style during the reveal trailer. Now yesterday we speculated whether these clouds could be replacements to Miiverse messages, but now we see them in higher detail. They really do just look like clouds. But, what's coming out of them? Well, a few of you speculated they could be Piranha Creepers, which, if they are, would be evidence of 3D World assets in other styles. But the more we see, the less we're sure. After all, Piranha Creepers don't twist around like this, they have solid bodies. These aren't spikes either, they're smooth dots. There's a very high chance that this is just some kind of vine textured platform rather than any kind of enemy, though a Piranha Creeper sure would be cool. But speaking of enemies, check out these guys over here. These are Goombrats, first introduced in New Super Mario Bros. U. However, they were not in the first Mario Maker, so this is their full debut in both Mario World and Mario Maker. So unlike Goombas, these guys turn around whenever they reach an edge, kind of like Red Koopas. Funnily enough, in the original Mario Maker, Goombas would just fall into pieces whenever you shake them. They didn't have an alternate form, so we imagine when you shake them in Mario Maker 2, they'll become Goombrats. Also, check out what they're walking on. Those are rainbows. We're in the airship style here, so it's very curious to see both rainbows and vine platforms. Is it possible there's more terrain customization? All of the rainbows seem to have a curve at the bottom, so it's unclear whether that's just part of this level, or if they're objects that you place and you can't get rid of the little curve. Okay, on to New Super Mario Bros. U. And there's actually more hiding here than we initially thought. But first of all, a correction. The lava bubble is actually riding a clown car. It's not multiple bubbles. But still, watch out for him. Looks like a Bernie boy. But the interesting thing to mention is we're in the Starry Night style with lava. In the debut trailer, we saw this very location only with poison. So as we guessed in our analysis, it seems we'll be able to mix and match liquids with styles. So we can likely change between water, lava, and poison. But okay, here's where things get weird. Look at Mario over here. He's in the swimming pose. He doesn't make this frame when using the propeller power up and there's no water to be seen. So what on earth is going on? Is there invisible water surrounding us? Unlikely as there's also lava directly below us. But what if we had the power to make low gravity stages like Mario Land 2 Space Zone? Only instead of floating, we'll be swimming through the air. It would certainly go with the space backdrop, but we can't quite pinpoint whether it would be exclusive to this template, as the last time we saw it, everything had wings. It's very hard to tell if gravity's acting differently. If Mario is indeed swimming through the air, then this is a major new feature, and can drastically change the output and designs of levels. Alright, and to end off, we have a better look at 3D World. We actually caught everything in our first look at the picture, so here's a closer look at Meowza. Look at that smile. 
We can see 3D World Snow background in a lot more detail too. This really is looking like one of the most interesting styles to use in the game. So that's everything we could catch in these Mario Maker 2 screenshots. For even more details, check out yesterday's video and our one and a half hour analysis. Yeah, we kinda like Mario Maker here. So did you guys catch anything that we missed? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Mario Maker 2 and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye.